everybody welcome back to the channel so I thought I'd do a little it's not really a tutorial but a little video to hopefully help some people deal with a situation that I've been reading about on discord Facebook pages things like that and it is about placing more animal pens down on court farm which is obviously where we are so hopefully this will help people because you can get rid of some of the animal pens not all of them but you can get rid of some there is actually all in all 16 animal pens pastures on this map so you're going to need to get rid of seven of them to at least be able to place down one quite a lot isn't it so we will talk through how you can get rid of them i'm going to show you the ones you can and can't sell obviously now i've started in new farmer mode which obviously is going to start us down here at this farm so that's why that plot of land is showing i've sold off the fields that we start off with just to generate a little bit of money and i was also taken out a bit of a loan just so that we can afford to buy the plots of land so that i can show you so you might not want to start at this farm, you might want to start on the any of the other three farms because there is four farms on this map, so plenty to choose from. They've all got animals on them, so like I say, you can't get rid of all of them, so depending on where you want to start, you might want to sort of think about it, and you might not want to get rid of any of the animal pens that's on the farm you want to start on, but you can visit the other three farms, get rid of those, so it's you know depending on what you want to do i'm going to show you what you can and can't get rid of hopefully help you um place more down right so like i say i've started off down here like so there is actually six i think it was on this farm so this is court farm itself six animal pens on this farm now up here we have home farm so we're going to buy that that as added a cow pasture and also over here 108 there is a sheep pasture there so i'm going to buy all the plots up then we'll quickly jump around and i'll show you what you can and can't sell down here this is stonebridge farm so if we buy the actual farm itself that produces i think it's rabbits and chickens but there's a couple of little areas we need to buy around which throw up another few animal pens so that plot there is horses 175 is pigs 185 no that wasn't that one was it sorry 184 is sheep and then over here 186 is cows so another what's that six on there as well quite a lot over the road we've got elmcroft farm we'll buy that just the one plot we need to buy there but we've also got cows and sheep on there as well so as you can see a lot of animal pens and pastures on here and you might not necessarily want them all so like i say if you've got no intention of using any of the other farms or you're just using two farms things like that buy the plots of land get rid of the animal pens pastures that will help you if you're looking to place more pens down in the future and the good thing about this map is you can sell the land back now some maps don't allow you to sell um, land back if you've got placeables down there so it will allow you to sell them back even if you've got farmhouses silos and things like that left on there which is pretty awesome right we are here at court farm so we will start at court farm selling off things so the first one we can sell is over here the pig pen pasture now if i run over to that we can highlight that you can see you click on that sell that gets rid of the pigs so that's one down unfortunately in here i've tried clicking on everything this is the rabbits we've got so you can just about get in there you've got feed and water troughs in there can't seem to get rid of the rabbits which is a bit of a shame because they don't really do anything they're just there for cuteness so we can't get rid of the rabbits um over here we have the open sort of chicken free range chickens if you click on the feed trough there we go we can sell that that gets rid of that which is awesome over here is the horse pen pasture unfortunately again we can't get rid of that i've tried clicking on the troughs because that seems to be 
the sort of trigger for most of them can't get rid of that which is a shame but I'm going to come back to this area in a second because if you are at this farm and you don't really want to be doing horses they're not as profitable as they were in FS19 so this then kind of becomes an unused redundant area but I'm going to show you something that might be useful and help some people which will hopefully turn that in area into something a little bit better a bit more useful obviously if you're looking to place animal pens down right sheep pasture over here we can click on the feed or the water trough sell that that gets rid of another one now what's left is the cows now i thought we were going to have the same situation with the rabbits here i was clicking all on these feed troughs all in the triggers and things like that in fact something flicked up then what was that i don't know something appeared in the menu then but i found if you come over here and just in through that doorway look there's a feed trough or water trough if you look at the help menu it comes up with select there we go click on that you can sell the cows so they have gone so we have got rid of four of the six on this farm which is awesome now if we look at that all we've got left is the rabbits i don't know what it's a pig symbol but rabbits and horses which is awesome if we zoom up to home farm and i go up into the air over here is the sheep pasture again it doesn't matter if it's the feed or water trough we can sell that gone and then over with the cows again i was clicking on a few things but over by this wall here there is a water trough again look if we zoom over to it it comes up with a select icon now some people like to sell by just going over to demolish and going on that but if you run over to that it won't come up with that select in the help menu but we can still click on that so just something to note there but we're going to sell like that that then gets rid of the cows so we've got rid of both of the animal pens on here and now if i don't want to mess around with home farm i can sell that land back job done we don't have anything to do with that farm now which is awesome now down to Stonebridge. this one there's a few that you can't sell which is a bit of a shame but if you're wanting to start down here it might be ideal for you because then you might not necessarily want to get rid of all these couldn't seem to get rid of the cows which is in this field here and also the chickens i was clicking on the feed trough there this is where their eggs appear couldn't seem to get anything happening there and then over here we have the rabbits and also same with the rabbits clicking on all the sort of areas where normally you get the trigger come up so couldn't get rid of the rabbits which is a bit of a shame over in here is the sheep pasture so the select comes up we can get rid of that we've got pigs again here you can highlight the huts or i think it will work with the troughs there we go yeah sell that pigs are gone we've got horses over here we can get rid of these horses which is nice click on the troughs they're gone like so and that is all you can sell at stonebridge so if we click back off there it does leave three but again we can sell off all the plots of land if you're not interested and it will give you your money back so if you want to take out a bit of a loan just to afford to buy the plots of land the areas then you can do that and obviously pay off the loan again we'll jump over to elmcroft now the good thing is we can sell off both the animal pens here so sheep over here again on any of the troughs they're gone and then with the cows this is their barn here but round the side we do have another water trough we can sell that it does leave the milk trigger or manure trigger i'm not sure which one that is in there but again they are both gone now even though we've got like i said a silo and a workshop on there we can sell that back so there we go we've got rid of all the pens and pastures that we don't necessarily need and you know we can place more down which is awesome so going back to the horse pasture here i 
reckon a good idea if you're looking to add more animals now it is going to obviously leave these two troughs here but if you've got some mods downloaded now just as an example i've got some of them so we've got basic pastures pack and i've got fenceless husbandries i think there's a couple more but you can place these down i mean admittedly that one's a bit big let's go for chickens that'll be a lot smaller so the chickens for instance there isn't any fence on there hence why it's called fenceless husbandry so we can place something like that down i mean if you went for a basic pasture like that it's going to look a bit odd isn't it fence within a fence like so but i'm just showing you as an example and we've got sort of things like the sheep again that would fit nicely in there which then means you know you can still if i place that down you can still come into this area if you want and you can have sheep in here they're not going to roam outside the fences which is awesome and you can still access your wall and things like that we do have a pile of horse poo there though <laughs> but they'll have to live with that but there you go guys hopefully that has helped some people i thought i would jump on it and do something because i've read quite a few comments where people are saying they can't place things down and with a lot of Oxy's maps or most of his maps you can't really get rid of the buildings and that because that's how he does it which is fine with me but um we can at least sell the animal pastures if you're looking to do that hope you have enjoyed the video guys if you have please hit that like button if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing that'd be awesome and don't forget to smash that bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine I've been Farm Sim Snowy, stay frosty.